Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at the World Utility Congress 2023. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me Sylvie Jeanneau, CEO of Dalkia EDF Group, to come and talk to me about the energy transition. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Could you just start off by explaining what Dalkia is doing around the energy transition? Yes, Dalkia first is a big subsidiary of the EDF Group and we are in charge of energy services activities. That means uh, two things. The first one is uh, how to save energy, to consume less, and the second thing is how to, to consume low carbon energy, that means to consume better. So to consume less and to consume better, that are our main activities. And uh, we are at that time 20,000 people in France, in the UK, in Poland, in the USA, and of course here in the Middle East. And our revenue uh, are around uh, 6 billion euros. Interesting. And more than 6 billion euros. Ah, well, that's good. <laughs> How can cities successfully decarbonize? Which I think is a question that everyone's thinking about. Yes, it's, it is a so big issue because, uh, you know, when you look at the CO2 emissions in the world, uh, 70% of the CO2 emissions uh, come from cities. Mm. Uh, more than 4.4 billion inhabitants live in cities and we think that it's going to double by 2050. So we have a big issue to tackle with, uh, to fight against climate change, to fight against the global warming, just to reduce CO2 emissions. And to do that in cities, I think that means three main issues. The first one is transport, mobility. The second one is industry. And the third one is buildings. In Dalkia, we, we are not focused on transport because it is, uh, but the EDF group is focused on transport uh, because we develop uh, electrical vehicles, uh, charging points, or we develop also hydrogen solutions in the EDF group, but it's not the business of, Dal of Dalkia. But concerning industry and buildings, we are focused on, on the decarbonization of industry and buildings. In the industry, for example, uh, what we do is, how, is uh, um, to replace many gas boilers. Uh, and uh, we are uh, operating at the moment 2,000 sites, in, industrial sites in France. And uh, we are at the moment replacing some boilers, for example, with biomass, with geothermal energy, but also with uh, circular economy logical mm. with waste management uh, also heat recover heat recovery and so on and uh, so uh, huge activities and yeah. we've also operational maintenance and when we do operational maintenance we always try to help customers to save energy if we look at the buildings uh, also two main issues mm -hmm. of course you know that to consume less and to consume better to consume less, that means energy savings, energy efficiency, and to consume better, that means sustainable solution with low carbon solutions. Yes, and I want to just pick up on the importance of energy efficiency in the future. That's going to be key. Yes, it will be key to save energy because the, the best energy is the energy we save, of course. And to do that, we have to think uh, how is it possible to reduce energy, to reduce the consumption, but also how is it possible to improve the way we use energy and to do that we have lots of we develop lots of services with operation maintenance works to develop very efficient solutions let me uh, give you an example for example uh, uh, in two days i will visit um, uh, a new project which is called uh, the misc city uh, Miss City it is a project initiated by uh, Mohamed bin Salman in Riyadh. It will be the non-profit city uh, and uh, uh, we, we've just uh, built the cooling networks systems, cooling, uh, the cooling uh, net, uh, district networks, uh, sorry. And these cooling district networks, when we look at the efficiency of this solution, uh, it is 60% more efficient than uh, if we had put, you know, uh, uh, lots of very individual uh, cooling systems. So it is very efficient, very 
um, very good for uh, the energy transition and it will be a big reference for us. Interesting to hear and I hope that trip goes well. Um, what technologies are driving this change? That is a really good question because uh, innovations, technology will be key to succeed in energy transition. Mm -hmm. Of course, we will need uh, uh, efficient boilers, efficient heat pumps, efficient cooling systems, uh, lots of technologies just uh, to produce sustainable, secure and, uh, and low carbon solutions. But I, will, uh, I would like to focus on digital solutions because uh, digital will be key just to go further to uh, find new way to save much more energy. Uh, and uh, for example, at Dalkia, we develop such systems uh, with data management systems, with connected solutions everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, in Lyon in France, uh, ecosystems uh, which need to be very well managed with storage, with uh, uh, energy productions, uh, but also uh, lots of housing, lots of different buildings, and the data management, management will be key. Really interesting to hear, and obviously I think, as you just said, digital is really going to help the future of cities and industries to, as you said, decarbonize. That's how the, we're going to get reduced the CO2. Um, now, we're here in the Middle East for the World Utilities Congress. How is it important to have a dedicated show around utilities and the power systems? Yes, uh, this show is great because I think uh, to succeed in the energy transition, we will have to coordinate lots of stakeholders, leaders, managers, uh, policy makers and so on. And uh, we, we, it's really necessary to, uh, to have discussions about the key factors of success of energy transition. We talked just uh, before about technologies, but you know, we will need uh, huge policy because uh, you know, energy transition will cost a lot. So policies might mean also the way to finance the different subsidies and so on. And maybe just uh, to finish, I would like to focus on a very, very big key factor. Uh, I believe in uh, it is skills, because uh, you know when you look at what uh, uh, the I, 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 EIA say, uh, there will be about 14 million jobs which are being created through energy transition. So. Uh, huge opportunities for young people, and uh, just I will uh, I would like to tell them so join us, join the energy transition jobs because we will need you. Well, Sylvia, I really appreciate you coming down to the studio and giving this great conversation about energy transition and the importance of decarbonisation in cities and how, why the Middle East is so important. Yes, very very important. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more studio interviews from the show floor.